Hi everyone. Well, here we are entering into March. And as we enter into March, we enter into the season of Lent. Lent is a very special and precious time in the Christian year in which we consciously spend time thinking about our need for God's salvation. It's a time to dwell in waiting, in humility, in our awareness of our own weaknesses and challenges. It's a time when we prepare ourselves for the joy of the Easter message of salvation by first opening ourselves up to acknowledge our need of saving. We might engage in a variety of practices in order to help us with this. We might engage in fasting, in giving something up in order to help us to remember our dependence on God and to help us to focus our time and attention on God. We might take something up, such as attending a Lent course. This year, we're really looking forward to engaging with the Difference course, in which we're going to be exploring God's peace and reconciling love within and amongst us in our differences. We might decide to make extra time for a particular practice of prayer or a time of reflection. Perhaps there's a particular book we want to read. We might add this into our daily routine. Another practice which can be really helpful during Lent is the practice of lament. We don't always think about lament very much. It can be easy in our busy lives to skim past the call to lament. Sometimes we want to fast forward to the joy of Easter and that's understandable. However, as the Psalms remind us over and over again, lament is a vital part of our Christian walk of faith. There are many examples of the power of lament in the Psalms. Take, for example, Psalm 102 verses 1 to 2 and 4 to 6. Lord, hear my prayer. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. My heart is scorched and withered like grass. I have become like an owl in the wilderness. I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with my tears. It's a vital part of our human experience to cry out to God in our pain, our anguish, our confusion and sorrow as we experience suffering and as we witness the suffering of the world around us. And I'm sure that we can all think of many examples in recent times where we have witnessed the suffering of the world. In doing this, we acknowledge our need of God and we're able to process our pain as we are held in the loving hands of the one who has taken on all pain for us. These wilderness times are so important for our growth as we learn to rely not on our own strength, but on the God who sustains us. And so Lent is a time in which we can embrace with expectation the practice of fruitful lament. Because lament never comes without the expectation of joy. God does not leave us in the lament. We hold on to the hope of Easter joy to come. Something else that I always think about during March is daffodils. March is really the month of daffodils, isn't it? My sister was born in March and my mum always tells us how when she was staying in the hospital after uh, my sister was born, she was just surrounded by daffodils. Um, it was still a time when you could take flowers in when you visited people in hospital. So she received quite a few bunches of daffodils. And um, what a wonderful thing to be surrounded by. I have here next to me a vase of daffodils brightening up my desk. And aren't they just beautiful? They are some of my favourite flowers. They're just so cheerful, aren't they? And it's always wonderful to see them at this time of year. And as we enter into March, we begin to see these signs of spring, signs of joy and hope. And daffodils are a wonder wonderful visual reminder of the hope that we have. Their bright sunshine yellow flowers calling out to us as we pass them by, that light springs up in the darkest places. Beauty grows on the most unkempt and unassuming bank. So as we enter March, I encourage you to embrace the time of wilderness and lament. But as you do so, hold on to the hope of Easter joy to come. Hold on to the knowledge that salvation is one. Hold on to the hope that beauty can always grow from the ashes of our anguish. I'd like to share with you a poem by Corrie ten Boom, which I think sums this up perfectly. 
My life is but a weaving between my God and me. I cannot choose the colours, he weaveth steadily. Oft times he weaveth sorrow, and I, in foolish pride, forget he sees the upper and I the underside. Not till the loom is silent and the shuttle cease to fly will God unroll the canvas and reveal the reason why. The dark threads are as needful in the weaver's skilful hand as the threads of gold and silver in the pattern he has planned. He knows, he loves, he cares, nothing this truth can dim. He gives the very best to those who leave the choice to him. Let's end with a prayer. Loving Lord, we thank you for this season of Lent. We thank you that you hold us as we cry out our lament. And we thank you that we always have the joy of Easter hope to come. We thank you for the signs of this hope that we see around us in the springtime. Help us to enjoy those small joys as we travel through the season of Lent this year. In Jesus' name.